last one. Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, back in some Terror Tech. This time we got a really awesome update that got thrown our way. We got the uh, Hawkeye Corporation now in, or at least a good start of them anyway. I think they said there's 30 blocks. I haven't counted them really, but... And they've changed the R&D, they've added missions to the campaign, and they've made a hell of a jump forward on this one, I think. As you can see, we got the more common blocks, kind of the boring stuff. If you've watched the stream that was on today, Friday the... Shit, what is today? Friday, September 10th. Just in case you're watching this on a different day, you would have seen all these and... Probably want me to shut up about it and get on to something better. But anyway, like I was saying, all the common blocks, repair bubble, blocks, brackets, cab. That's a cool looking cab too. We finally got a cockpit. Some wheels. Light. That there, I think, is your radar. Oh. And over on this side, we got wings, fuel, rocket, guns. Now, these ones are kind of the small, medium to large kind of idea. But the thing I like is this is like the sniper -y rifle, which is great. So you get that, and I've tried to use most of these blocks, or the really cool blocks anyway, on the tech I've got here. These blocks over here aren't quite tested yet, as you can see, from the signs. And these are some of the really cool flying blocks. You get the helicopter propellers, the fan blades, the bigger cannons, a minigun, a freaking minigun. I've been wanting one of them forever. And this here, I believe, is missiles. So that's cool. They're still working on them. They don't quite work great yet. And then we got the tank treads. Tracks. We finally got some treads. I don't know if they're going to have any more because they were talking earlier in the year about having expandable tracks so you can make them oop, a custom fit the tech you want. That would be amazing. I'd love that. Then you got some ramps, some brackets, some other blocks, versions of the blocks, I think. And then in here, even better. Well, not even better, but just as good and makes it better, this whole update. I'm not sure, yep, there's the EXP refinery, so that's neat. Didn't know they were changing that one exactly, and there's the fabricator. So these we need for the crafting. So I'm going to be playing with a little of them later, I think. But right now, I just wanted to play with some uh, Hawkeye parts, see how they function, and if I can make something that will actually fly. My next thing is more of a land battle thing, but I ended up making this. As you can see, it's mainly, mainly meant for flying. The driving part, it's not the best at, but it can do it. And for fighting. So let's see how she does. I've done a little bit of testing. But as you can see, she wants to just kind of stay level. Slowly climbs up, but not bad. But then if you shoot the gun, brings her right back down. <laughs> Well, let's see how it maneuvers. If I can get her back in the air. Oh. There, you gotta do it just like that, I guess. <laughs> so with the helicopter propellers on top, I don't expect it to be very maneuverable as far as barrel rolls and such. As you can see, that's just trying to do a barrel roll. She dives horribly. So anyway, that happens. Oh, I need my other propeller. There, I lost my radar, but I think it'll be alright. So yeah, this thing is mainly meant for just straight runs, flying, fighting. Trick fighting, that may be a plane I make later. But, I think it turned out pretty good. I really like those mini guns. See, if you hold up to it, you know, kind of counter-react it. A little clever flying, I think we'd be able to take out some stuff. But yeah, it just spreads it. And then you got the snipery rifle there. Looks like a pulse emitter kind of thing. So not too shabby, I don't think. And here's the funny part. <clears throat> On ground, anyway. Let's see how fast I can go. 
and go, we'll say 75. Okay, let's stop. Okay, now we'll, how fast do you think I'm going to go backwards just by shooting my guns? Yeah, i seen 60 in there, I think. We'll say about 58. I, it's not too shabby for getting out of a jam, eh? <laughs> so I think what I might do now is maybe uh, head over and try the campaign mode. Because they got new missions and stuff like that over there. But I don't know, maybe I'll go make one of those tanks that I was thinking about. Huh. Well, we'll find out in a little bit here. Well, before I head over to the campaign, I figured I'd try this thing out on some resources. See how good this thing works. Seems to be getting some of them. Not quite the best, but... I find that when you fire the guns, it wants to nose down, so it had me a little leery. I didn't want to get too low to the ground. And, oh, it's getting close. Uh, pull up, pull up, pull up. Uh, it's not the best plane, but it's the first one I've made with these guys. And first attempt, no real reworks or overhauls or nothing, and it handles not too bad. And, oh, clip. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty decent. It's hard to do like barrel rolls and stuff like that, just because of the up, uh, propellers on top. And yeah, I'm still loving those. Yeah, I got circled around for another run, see what I could get. Got a few more. Well, I'm not sure exactly what I did there. Oh, I pitched it into the ground. So yeah, I'm loving these new weapons. They're freaking awesome. As it needs a lot of improvement. How do you like that for a takeoff though, eh? Reverse takeoff, back into forward flight. I surprised myself with that one actually. I didn't know I was even trying to do it. Oh, 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 oh. Touchdown. Oh, stop, bestie. And how there's some, some of the best breaks I got. Just fire the guns. So anyway, I'm kind of just playing around. I don't like this. Just the weapons. Not hitting nothing. Oh, got me. Oh, it well, I decided to stay in the R&D here, and I built myself my first little Hawkeye tank. It does have some GSO and Venture stuff in there, but... Yeah, the Venture shield bubble ain't working right. Full batteries and just a little tiny bubble. And the repair bubble there, that's actually the Hawkeye one. And as you can see, I've fully loaded this sucker for its size anyway. I got what I'm hoping are missile launchers or rocket launchers at some point. My snipery rifles, a bunch of mini guns, the chain gun, or belt gun I think it might be. What is it? Chain gun. And I got my targeting lasers. I don't know if I... Oh, there they are. So now it looks like I got red eye. And I got my radar. Everything seems to be pretty nice. The thing handles pretty nice pretty good and turns on a dime pretty much. And I really like how it handles these little whoop de doos or bumps or whatever. Kind of just skips along top of them. So yeah, look, the, night, the suspension on the treads is working awesome. Could be maybe fine touch, but still looks pretty good. If you get into this, it gets hung up a bit, but I think that's just because of the mini guns being low. The only thing I didn't put on this was the flamethrowers, and I was thinking about it, because I really, really like them. So I might still put some of them on, I'm not sure yet. But with these mini guns, like look at the size of the hitbox on them. We need to stub that off about two blocks worth at the back. Because really it only needs to be about to there, then this, these two spots would have been open. But anyway, it seems to be pretty good. Can go through quite a bit of these resources fairly fast. Yeah, I built up my little charging station. And I was trying ramps and that, but it just wouldn't work on the ramps. It'll start up. If I go like that, oh. yeah. See, it only gets stuck like that. But. Like you can see there, I've made a heck of a mess in here. Let's just see what she does. The 
You gotta keep moving or you end up getting taken for a ride by these resources. So let's see if I can... I really gotta make a harvester part on one of these kind of packs. Yeah, it seems to clip around about 34. Something like that's top speed. I just like the turning on it. Like, look at that. I can, should be able to follow any venture guys now. Ah. And I really like the big cannon. Nice slow fire. Looks awesome. Probably hits harder than hell. So I'm really liking this. I want to get this in the game. This is probably my goal to build a first with the Hawkeye. Except for, I guess, the mini guns. They're the experimental stuff. I guess I can't plan too much because most of this is out of the, or a bunch of this is out of the experimental, untested blocks. So, like them. Them. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll be getting into the campaign eventually. I've just been having a hell of a lot of fun in here. Got me a bunch of new ideas and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'm going to build another one or what I want to do. I was going to show this one being built, but really there ain't much to it. Basically it's just, I got these tucked in there, lined up with batteries, and then I just put my treads on and put as many guns on it as I thought I could handle and that still look kind of neat. These mini guns actually, I might move them back. Oh, I can't. Yeah, that's why they're there. <laughs> See, maybe I should move this one back. Give it more of a, a nice look. I lose these back guns, but oh well. I don't know, maybe like that. Have the barrel stick out just a bit. I like that idea. But yeah, that's that tech there, and I don't know, let's see what I can get up to next. Right, maybe I'll try and make a combo tech. A flyer, harvester, or not a flyer, uh, a battle tank, harvester, or like a good all-around uh, campaign tech. One that I'd be proud to call an out and about of whatever version it may end up in. Probably this one, but all depends. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I just can't get enough of it. <laughs> I just like driving it around. Now, if it was a little faster, I think that'd be hilarious watching it go over this. It'd just skip. Probably miss every other row or something. Yeah, these are funny. I like how it just kind of jumps along. See if I can straddle both of them. Get the teeter going. It's got a wiggle. <laughs> just a little wiggle. Ah, look at it go. But anyway, I think I've had enough fun with this one for now. I want to put it to some action in the game. I might have to go in there and get that started up. So, let's see what I can get up to next here. Well, before I left the R&D there, I thought yeah, I should give that new craft and stuff a try. So I set this up. Got a whole whack of resources going. And I started trying to build stuff. Now, so far I've had limited success. That Plumbia is in high demand, that's for damn sure. Having a heck of a time keeping it filled. So what I did, actually, to get even more, is I made these as a buffer, so they can hold, since I noticed that these will pass each other. So that's right on like that. I'm just going to drive here, see if I can offload this. Maybe. Close enough. I'm going to go get some more here in a minute. Maybe. If but as you can see, there needs to be a little more of an ejection speed on the blocks. They're getting stuck in there. But yeah, it takes quite a few chunks to make some of these things. Like, what one can I do here? What's this one? Like that is 14 and 14. So that's a pretty hefty one to get going. And I bet you some of these blocks would be a lot. 12, 12, and 12. See, it's really nice the way they got it set up, just like the other menus. Gives you the recipes, so you know what you're, you might need and everything if you're missing it. I really like that. So 
So yeah, I just got those set on repeat, which is another awesome function. Because like conveyors, I always need a ton of them. So I'd love having those just building away while I'm gone. And then I'd set up an SCU right behind it. I'm going to do that eventually, like when I bring it into the campaign. I had one set up there before, but it just kept taking all the blocks. Nothing really would pile up. I couldn't get this thing to produce fast enough. So, like, look at this line. Do -do -do -do. That'll probably all go into this one right here. Doop, doop. Yep, all right for that one. So it almost seems like it's taking orders. And having this many, maybe that one's getting overlooked or something. Because it's supposed to be making the upward corner block. So I think, yeah, I had the conveyor. Here, see if I can get this spread out a bit. So yeah, I had the normal conveyor, the repair bubble, the filter, the down conveyor, the up conveyor, and a megaton. Tried to get a combination of unrefined and refined stuff to go. But, I don't know. It seems like I maybe have not enough of some. I don't know, I thought I had a fair average of uh, the resources, but what can you do? So yeah, these I got these refineries set up in such a way so everything goes by here. And there's only four, so this many resources got something's getting by it. They can travel up this line. Um so they're unrefined at this point. And then they go down, they hit all those, right on, goes in whatever can, comes back around, gets for another chance of refining, just circles and circles. So I figured that was a decent way of at least getting a start at this and now with the silos actually working at least for that I haven't tried the other stuff like generators and things like that kinda wondering so actually maybe we should just try something like that eh? that might be an idea zoom in here got to see real good and yeah see real good look at all the green right and everything else <laughs> I like all the additions, especially the way those recipes disappear when you get far enough away. That's a good idea. Okay, now I'm guessing I'm going to need a filter. On both sides, most likely. Or no, one side. Both sides of the silo. Like that. Like that. And I'm just going to make a little short chunk of conveyor. Nice little loop. And I'll use one of these. So, I want, because it's handy, um, I'm using quite a bit of that. I'll use one of them. So I'm going to make that like that. Let's see if it'll carry on. Ah, bastard. Nope. See the arrow? It looks like it's pink. It wants to go, but... Huh. I wonder if I take that filter out. If that would work. Since I don't want to bugger that little build up, I'm going to just grab another one of them. See what happens when we put her on the side. Not a damn thing. So the silos are kind of buggered up for the generating process. Not worth a crap. Everything wants to pull to that. Huh. So that sucks pretty hard. I was really hoping that wasn't an issue anymore. I really did like the idea of having these silos as a buffer. And really there's no other really good way of doing it. It's like... Let's see if we... Put that. Nope, nope. You come back here. We'll put you back in there. And we'll pass it. Not a chance. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks just a wee bit. I don't know. Maybe I have to think on that and see if there's any other ways I can do that that I haven't thought of yet. I'm just going to go check here for a second. See how this is performing.
Well, it doesn't seem to be doing too bad, but it's also not doing that great. There's only a very small pile of blocks back there. So I know it's fabricating something, just not a whole lot. It's probably too long of a system. It does need to be refined quite a bit. This is just really rough, just trying to handle tons. I was hoping to have piles and piles of blocks back there, but things happen. So as you can see, I got a few megatons, some conveyors of different sorts, and some uh, health bubbles. And there's a ton of resources in the works there now. Because I changed my little buffer zone instead of just having the single line of the extra receivers. I got a whole whack of them. Because they seem to pass everything around quite nicely now. So I'm going to take advantage of that and figure I'll just hopefully make the best of it. Because I like the way that's going. It looks kind of jumbled around the way it is there, but this is sped up quite a bit. I actually fully sped it up twice. So speeding up the speeding up. So, And that's about what I get. This turned out it was an hour and a half to start, and I got her knocked down. To <laughs> well, I did edit some. But yeah, so you can kind of notice it just plop out. It does need a little more propulsion out of the chute, though falling too close or just sitting on top well there's my first test of a new crafting system in the R&D I don't think it did too bad like I was saying before it needs a little more throw on the blocks exit but I did manage to make a whole whack of them megaton some of them got a bunch of conveyors there it really seems to have uh, some issues when multiple uh, fabricators with this setup so it's there's some little fine tune I think that would make it a lot better but yeah that's what I got figured out so far and I'm gonna just keep on figuring things out as I go but I think with this I'm probably gonna call this an end so if you did like what you saw throw some likes around head to my channel subscribe that way you can get the latest videos that I have to offer and that you may be interested in. Or even if it's just heading into the comments, just if you only want to say hello, perfect. I'd love to hear from you. Well, with that being said, I'd also like to just remind you that all your support is appreciated. And I'm not one to say that lightly. So until next time, everybody, have a good one. Bye.